Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a navigation drawer. On the right side, you can see that I've already created a project so that I can show you what navigation drawer actually is. You can see there is an icon and this icon is known as hamburger icon. So if I click on this icon, you can see the navigation drawer coming out. Inside of this navigation drawer, I have added some menu items. As you can see, home, profile, chat. You can add as many as you wish. And if I click on any menu item, then it will take to a specific activity or fragments. So I'll show you how to create a navigation drawer and how to add these menu items in, inside of this navigation drawer. And I will also show you how to add listener with the navigation drawer. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we need to create a project. File, new, new project. You can name whatever you want. I will name it my navigation. Oh, yeah. I need to click on next, 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 and finally finish. It will take some time. So the next step is that if you want to use navigation drawer, then you must add the navigation drawer dependency. So for that, you have to go to to go to the gradle script built gradle module app inside of this file and inside the dependency what you have to do you have to copy this line and you need to paste under this and just you have to change a little bit here you have to write design that's it and after that you have to synchronize now so you have to click on here it will take a few seconds so the next step is that you have to change the layout root layout into the drawer layout so for that we have to go to the main xml file and here we're going to make it drawer layout drawer layout and inside of this i'll add some items let's say i'm going to give an id here so later on i can find it out from the java file drawer id and i'm going to remove the text view from here i would like to see the preview so it will take a few seconds anyway so we have created the drawer layout and inside of this we need to create a navigation view for the navigation drawer navigation view i will keep the width as wrap content and keep the height as match parent i need to add some more properties here as well let's say i will give an id so that later on i can find it out navigation id perfect and i will use the background color so background and i will use android and let's say i'm gonna use color white and i'm gonna add some more item but before that you know i'm going to add some menu menu items in the navigation drawer so first of all i need to get some uh, icon so that I can use in the menu menu sections. Okay, so the next step is I need to get some icons that I'm going to use for my menu items in the navigation drawer. So let's get the icons. Go to the app, go to the resource, and go to uh, drawable new vector asset. First of all, I will find out an icon for the profile profile or whatever you can find one by one chat next next back to reset then i'm gonna find share icons share okay next finish and this is how you have to add one by one after that i'm gonna find back to reset click on here and I'll add one more actually not one more yes actually I'll add one more icon for the home so new back to reset that's it 
So we have got all the icons that we need and after that we need to create the menu and after that we can uh, add the menu into the navigation view. So if you want to create a menu then you need a folder as you already know that resource new directory and I'm going to create a menu here menu directory and inside this menu directory we need to create a menu resource file I'm gonna name it navigation menu item navigation menu layout okay. go to the text section and inside this text section I'm going to add one by one item menu item first of all let's add Home. So I'm going to give an ID for the home menu item. ID. And name it title as home. After that, I will add an icon here. Icon. Home button. Okay, that's it. So this is how you can create the item. And after that, you have to copy and paste it down here. And one more item. So as I have created this uh, something like this, so I will add home first and after that profile and after that I will add uh, one more menu uh, icon, uh, chat menu icon. So home is already, then I will go for profile, profile, I will change the ID a bit, profile, chat, and we also need to change the title, so here it will be Also need to change the icon as well. So this one will be section icon chat icon. Okay, that's great. So and after that we need to group them in one group actually. So I'll put them into one group so that at a time I can select only one item. And for that, what I have to do actually, I'm going to make a group here. And Android checkable behavior will be single. So at a time I can select only one item. And after this, I'm going to cut all this item from here. That's great. Now, if you want to see how the preview looks like, then what you have to do, you have to do something like this. Come here inside the menu XML. And here, what you have to do, you have to type tools. Tools. And then you have to type showing equal navigation view. You can see that there is an error then press alt or enter and it will solve the error now if you look onto the preview then you can see that our menu items are available here okay in the navigation view perfect and after that I want to add more items as you can see that in a different section communicate and in, inside of this communicate I'm adding uh, I have added two items one is co contact and another is share so for that what I have to need to do I have to use here one more times item down the group section and here I'm gonna add a menu 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 okay and inside this menu section I will add more items as I have already told you I've done a mistake here I will give a title here and the title I want to show a title communicate communicate and I'll add this item here and I'm going to cut this stuff from here actually so this is how you're going to create another separate menu as you can see and in this menu I have created a, I've given a title so the title is communicate and inside this menu item I'm gonna add menu inside this menu I'm gonna add two more items as you can see one for contact and another for share we can copy paste from above so I'm just uh, copy this section and pasting it here also here I will just change the ID a bit and name it here icon so I can
Perfect. So you can see that our items are ready. So now we can go back to the main XML file, XML, activity main XML file, and we can add the menu inside of our navigation view. And for that, what you have to do, app menu. We have given the navigation menu actually. What was the name? It was navigation menu layout. Now you can see that our menu is added to the navigation dryer. And after that, what we can do actually, we can make something a bit different Android layout gravity, layout gravity, layout gravity. Okay. And after that, I need to add a navigation header. As you can see, uh, this is a navigation dryer. Right this section where you can see a pink color, actually not pink color, maybe something kind of pink color anyway. And inside of this header, you can see there is an image view and some text view as well. So let's go to drawable. Layout, click on layout, new, layout resource file. I'm gonna name it navigation header. And here I'm going to use linear layout. So linear layout. And I'm going to add some more properties here. Like I'm going to give a width is actually match parent. There is no problem with the width, but I'll change the height a bit. It will be like 160 dp. And I'll add some more properties here. Let's say I'm going to add background color. And the background color will be Android color exit actually okay and I'm going to add some more properties like orientation will be vertical I'll give a padding here padding 10 dp padding and inside this linear layout I'm going to add an image view image will have with have wrap content wrap content height will be wrap content I'll add a source here source will be from MIP map MIP map with the round one so you can see the shape is square here, but don't worry, it will be round when you'll run this program. And after the image view, I'm going to add two more text view, text view, wrap content, wrap content. And I'm going to add some more properties here inside of this text view. There will be like some text here and text will be my name. I'm going to add some color here as well, the background color or text color. I can use here text color will be white so android color white and after that i'm going to add text style perfect so far so good and after this i'm going to add padding top padding let's say 5 dp or 8 dp whatever you wish i can use 8 dp i'm going to copy paste this control d and i'll change Letters. Perfect. So far, so good. And I'm going to put this text style and padding top as well. That's great. It's, it's fine. Now we need to add this navigation menu that we have already created a navigation header actually inside of our navigation view. And for that, what you have to do, you have to type app. Here we are going to use the navigation header okay perfect so if you run this program right now I'm going to run this program run app I know I'm taking too much time but I'm, I'm trying to show you everything uh, that I should actually and I'm trying to explain you everything okay it is taking some time you have to be patient, right? Okay. So after running this program, if I just pull from here to the right side. the navigation dryer actually is here so I have done a mistake uh, in the navigation dryer section I should use the height as match parent right so go to the navigation view and use match parent. Okay. 
now I'm going to show you how to add the hamburger icon here so that you can click and the navigation drawer will come out so and I'm going to add one more item here one more property in the drawer layout actually and the property will be like let's say layout gravity or something else um, I can use open drawer here open drawer property so go to the main activity and what you have to do if you want to create the hamburger icon first of all you need to create the drawer layout variable drawer layout drawer layout and after that we need one more variable which is called action bar drawer toggle I'm name it toggle and I need to find out the drawer layout at first so drawer layout equal find view by id r dot id dot drawer id and after that I need to create a hamburger icon and how I'm going to create I'll show you for that you have to write toggle equal new action bar toggle action bar drawer toggle and inside of this first of all you need to pass four parameters first parameter will be this and after that you can pass drawer layout and after that you need to pass two string here so for that I'm going to go value section string XML file I'm going to create two string here that navigation close and that close here perfect go to the main activity again and just try to find out the string from here r dot string dot navigation open r dot string dot navigation close perfect so we have created the navigation uh, toggle bar here toggle button here or toggle a toggle icon whatever you can say say and after that we need to add that hamburger icon to the drawer layout and for that what I have to do drawer layout dot add drawer listener and I need to pass the toggle here toggle dot synchronize after all this now I need to display the hamburger icon and for that I have to type get support action bar dot set display home as up enable and I need to pass true here that's it so far so good now if I run this program right now so let's run it remember that I have created the toggle icon here and after that I had added the toggle uh, icon into the drawer layout and after all this I have display the toggle button here or toggle icon here okay so it's running and i believe you can see that toggle button here but if you click on this toggle button it will not work because we haven't added the uh, one more thing actually and for that you have to click on option item selected you have to type here on option item selected and inside this on option item selected you have to write if toggle dot on option item selected item if you click on toggle then what you have to do that's it so if i run this program right now then you will see the toggle button will work inshallah I'm getting tired actually okay so if I click on this toggle button you can see that a navigation drive is coming out uh, in the next video I will show you how to add listener with this uh, navigation drive okay till then take care of yourself